Hi, welcome to tutorial number 7 which is on page headers, footers and page numbering. In this section you will also learn how to create a cover page and how to divide a document into various sections with each section having its own page numbering system. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is just to double click on this uh, blank document in the header section. That's the header section and that's the footer section here. So just double click on this part and you can see that it just says footer, header, footer. Okay, now let me uh, click back on the main body of the page. I've not typed in anything yet. What I'm going to do is go to page layout and then click on breaks and I'm going to add a section break which is um, section break and starts a new section on the next page so basically this is the new section that I've already created now how do I prove that I'm just gonna double click on the header section and here you can see uh, header section 1 and that's header section 2 so basically this is section 2 that's section 1 so now my document is divided into into two sections each section can have its own header and footer and it can have its own page numbering system as well okay uh, so let me just start off by uh, going into the header section here. So right now I'm at the design design tab and click on the header section and now I want to put in the this header here. Okay now uh, now the two headers look alike but hold on a second uh, didn't I just say that the document had two sections? Yes I did. But there's a little thing that you need to do here which is to you need to break the link between section 2 and section 1 in order for section 2 to have a different header. Okay, let me repeat that. Uh, there's a link between the two and you can see it right here because right now I'm at section 2. My cursor is blinking on the page of section 2. So it says link to previous has been uh, uh, is there. Okay, it's already been selected which means to say that uh, section 2 pages, whether it consists of one page or ten pages, section 2 pages will have the same header or the same footer as, as the previous section. So what I need to do is just unlink that make sure that I'm currently on, uh, on a page of section 2 so unlink the link to previous unselect that okay now I can delete the uh, okay or, or rather now I can select another header for section number 2 so let's say we select this one here aha there you go so you see that now that's a different uh, header cons compared to the header on section number 1 okay now let me just increase section 2 to increase to include another page okay so here you can see we've got uh, two different headers that's because this is section 1 section 2 section 2 and uh, so now I'm going to uh, press control enter to create a third page uh, sorry fourth page and now I'm going to create a third section by going to page layout breaks and in insert the section break which is the next break next page section break Okay, now if I were to click on the uh, headers, you see that section 2, section 2, and this one is section 3. So this is uh, what I want. Now section 3's, section 3's uh, header, I would like to change that. So just double click that and I'll zoom in. Now this is section number 3. So I'm going to um, just double click on the header there. And again, you can see the link to previous. Okay the link to previous so this is section 3 that's section 2 so I'm gonna break that link and I'm going to change the header to something else so let's say we put uh, this one here it's very clear okay so now voila as you can see uh, they are now one two and three different headers okay now what about the page numbering what about the page numbering so let me just jump back to here I'm gonna put the page numbers at the footer section I'm going to go to, uh, I'm now at section number one. I'm going to go to uh, insert page number. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the page and I'm going to put it right in the center here. Okay, now this is very small to see on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm, I've jumped to page number one, footer of page number one, and uh, I'm just going to increase the font size uh, to let's say 20 okay maybe even bigger 36 okay so now it's uh, bigger you can see now that's page 1 2 3 and 4 yeah so let me jump 
back to here now again the footer if you look at the footer it's linked to the previous footer if you click on the header here it's not linked to the previous header so that's the difference between the header and the footer of section number two so for footer for section number three I'm going to break the link to previous and uh, whoa it didn't change but hang on a second uh, that's because we need to uh, f uh, I need to format the the, f the footer page number and how I do that is uh, while I'm at the footer section number two I'm going to go to page number and I'm going to format the page numbers so aha uh -huh, here you see that the page numbering in the in this page here which is footer section number two it is following uh, the previous section which is page number one so what I need to do is just break that by clicking on start at one and now you see I've got a different numbering system here that's page one that's page two and that's page three Okay, so section 2 you have two pages, page 1 of section 2, page 2 of section 2, and this is wrong, this should be page 1 of section 3, so how do I change that? Okay, you got it. Let me zoom in first. Aha. So now we can see this is section number 3, that's section number 2, this is page 2 of section 2, this should be page 1 of section number 3. So about to click inside here and break the link to previous, and uh, what's the last thing I need to do? I need to go to page number go to format page numbers and restart the page numbering at number one there you go that's wonderful so now you've got uh, if I can just show it this way now you've got uh, four pages that's page one of section number one that's page one of section number two page two of section number two and page one of section number three so what have I done well I've created basically uh, uh, three sections section one section two and section section 1, section 2, and section 3. Each section has its own different page numbering system. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to create a cover page. So let's jump to insert cover page and let's put a really nice looking cover page over here. And uh, well basically I lost my section number 1 but that's okay because uh, now you've got uh, a cover, nice cover page okay and uh, two more sections okay let's say I didn't want to lose my first section so I'm just going to press ctrl Z ctrl Z and I'm going to press ctrl enter okay and uh, now I've got uh, section one covering covering spanning two pages so let's insert the cover page at the first page itself there you go now this thing is wrong this should be page number one yeah that should be page number one so what I do is I am just going to click on the footer section go to page number format page numbers and I'm gonna start at page number one here uh, that's not right I'm wrong place here page number format page numbers start at one okay didn't quite work out let's think this one through uh, that should be aha I know I know what to do what I should do is to click on the footer section and go to page number format page number start at uh, zero there you go so I've clicked start at zero and now the trick is that uh, the cover page is page zero and uh, this physical second page is page number one okay so let's just uh, look at that again that's the page now that's the cover page this is uh, uh, cover page is still actually under section number one yeah because I didn't insert a section break so that's uh, the cover page this is section number one starting from page one the trick was this is actually page this here is actually page zero which doesn't appear so this is page one of section one and this is uh, page two of section one and uh, actually it's zero one page zero page 1, page 2 of section number 1 except that page 0 of section number 1 is a cover page and then you've got uh, page 1 of section 2, page 2 of section 2 and page 1 of section 3 Whew. did you get that? did you get all that? did you understand that? so why don't you look through this video and give it a try okay, thanks